Well, here we are, Saturday night, sitting around in the shack. So I figured I would do a little review on these uh, these HP 436A power meters. They're pretty uh, pretty simple little meters. Well, they're not really little. But they're they're uh, all you know. You can get these things all day on eBay for you know less than fifty bucks. But uh, they're designed to be used with uh, these power sensors here. This one here, the 8481A, covers uh, 10 megahertz to 18 gigahertz. And a power range of uh, minus 30 to plus 20 dBm. Uh, these meters here can be used, like I said, with these power sensors. And depending on the power sensor, they can be uh, used anywhere from 100 kilohertz to... 18, 20, 50 gigs or more. Uh, like I say, they're uh, real simple to use. There's no no menus, of course. Uh, just like my uh, 437B, we have the, uh, the this meter here that uh, kind of doubles as a as a visual to see where you're at on the current range and to also see small. Uh, 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 movements such as noise or if you're going to be peaking a uh, a passband filter or you know whatever your application calls for uh, here we got there your calibration factor this is used uh, depending on what frequency uh, you're on a lot of these uh, these sensors they have uh, calibration tables on them so if I uh, use this sensor and I'm going to be measure, measuring something at one gigahertz the uh, cal factor needs to be 98.48 so that would mean that I would just set that to 98 and it will co correct for the error. Typically when you calibrate these you want them on 100%. Uh, this sensor here that was calibrated by uh, uh, by Keysight, uh, the calibration factor for, is 100% at 50 megs. So what I'll do is I'll uh, We'll hook this up and uh, we'll go through a, uh, a calibration uh, routine. So on this power meter, to get your power sensor ready, you uh, hook the uh, cable up to the unit here. Get the end of our cable here. And uh, I'll plug our power sensor in. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to zero uh, the power uh, sensor. So we uh, press the zero button. Okay, the instrument's done zeroing. So now we'll take this and we'll put it into the watt position and. Now, we will hook the sensor up. Uh, to our reference. And now we turn the reference on. And now what you got to do is take your golden screwdriver and you adjust this calibration control until you get one milliwatt. Well, in case you're wondering here, a little bit of uh, Jim Beam here. It's Saturday, so you know, it's time for adult beverage. Now, we can turn the reference off. And we'll hook this up to my HP 3335A. I have a, a level generator that's right behind this. So let me get this hooked up and uh, we'll do some measurements. Alrighty, hey, we're all set up, ready to go. Sensor's plugged in. Although we do have to end up using these uh, 
he's into BMC adapters, so we may get a small amount of loss through that. And depending on how accurate that was, we'll just see how accurate we're going to get here. I don't really like leaving all that weight on there, but well, that'll do for now. So, let's uh, start off by uh, switching to amplitude, and we'll go to, let's start with a minus 25, since that'll be really at the bottom of that sensor. Yeah, we're off a little bit there. But that's still not too bad. So let's uh, try 20. Yeah, a bit better there. Let's try uh, 15. Yeah, it's pretty uniform. It's off just a smidge, so let's try 10. Yeah, off by the same amount, about five ten thousandths of a uh, the dB. So yeah, that's not bad. Let's go to zero. Same thing, off by a smidge. Yeah, so I would guess this meter uh, works pretty good. Uh, like I say, uh, it's off a little bit, but uh, it's you know a combination of, of the reference that uh, this thing has, and uh, how well the meter is uh, interfacing with the unit, of course, and a little bit of uh, <laughs> loss that we might have in here, but that's showing a little bit extra, so that's probably from here. But uh, yeah, let's uh, open this thing up and uh, see what's inside here. But I just forgot, uh, so uh, <laughs> before we open it, I uh, wanted to show you a uh, couple of the buttons here. Uh, we can go to watts here, and it'll show you the amount in uh, millivolts. Or not millivolts, uh, milliwatts. And so we can go to, let's say, 10 dB, which should give us uh, about uh, 10 milliwatts. So let's uh, hold on here. There we go. Yep, 10.07 milliwatts. Now we can also use this, this reference control here. Or if we press that, we go back to dB mode and it automatically zeroes with whatever signal we're, 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 uh, we're sampling here. So now I can take and reduce the output and it'll give us a uh, a relative indication in db so I'll say i want to uh, subtract well let's uh let's go down to 7 db here so we've uh, automatically taken away 3 db and so on so let's uh go down to uh 3 db and now we're down to 7 so, yeah, that's uh, another uh, useful feature. You can also uh, hold whatever range the meter happens to be in at the time. You can't change the ranges. You can only do that over HPIB, but this particular meter doesn't have that feature installed, but I've got a couple of extra of uh, these meters, and I'm going to rob the uh, HPIB guts out of the others and uh, install it in this so I can... Uh, connect it to the rest of my instrument chain and uh, actually control it uh, via GPIB. So anyway, let's uh, get this thing open. Alrighty, got my uh, screwdriver here, my uh, posi drive screwdriver. You, you really need a set of these to take these things apart, otherwise you wind up messing up the, uh, the screws on these things. All right. And there she be, man. She, uh, a little sparse on the inside here. So, yeah. Power supply section. Good size, uh, 
Nice size caps in there. Power transformer regulator board. Here's the uh, the frequency reference. It hasn't even been adjusted. The sticker's still on there. Maybe they put that back on there. But right here is where the HBIB uh, card goes. <clears throat> and then the interface card comes in here and plugs in from there. This will be the level converter card. And then the HBIB card is in here with all the ROMs on it. They have all of the uh, programming instructions. But, um, yeah, once this card is in here, then this ribbon cable comes from the front display. <clears throat> goes to this board here, and then it also comes over and plugs into the, uh, the level converter card. So I got... Uh, couple spare units and I'm going to rob all the parts and get that out. I have one that I tried to pull the cable off and I wound up screwing up and bending some of the pins on the header and uh, when I tried to bend them back, one of them broke off. So, <laughs> so I went, oh crap. Oh well. I'll uh, <clears throat> just wait until the uh, the other one arrives. But yeah, there's not much here. That's, uh, like I say, here's the uh, these two cards here are basically the meter, and uh, this is just all interface to the display. And uh, I'm not, I can't remember what card or what this card's supposed to do. I'd have to look it up. Should have been better prepared. But yeah, these uh, these two boards here are the meter. Uh, I got various adjustments here, but to adjust these, you need what's called a uh, uh, and the the calibrator, uh, what's it called here? It's a uh, it's, well, yeah, you know, it's a calibrator, and you plug it into the front of the unit, and you select the range that you want to calibrate to, and then you adjust all these trimmers. <clears throat> but uh, I don't happen to have one of those. But uh, fortunately, this meter is fairly close, close enough for what I'm going to be using it for, and uh, so yeah, there it is. Not much in there, man. Let's see if I can. Uh, I got these really cool little hooks that you can grab and pull the cards out. That one looks like a uh, processor card. See, it doesn't even say it was just the A5 board, so I'd have to look that up to see what the A5 board does. So, but anyhow. That's pretty much uh, all there is with this. The HP 436A power meter. But anyway, I'm going to put this thing back together and uh, I call it quits for the evening. And uh, finish my uh, finish my uh, Jim Beam here. So anyway, guys, I'm going to throw this thing back together and... Uh, we will uh, catch you next time around. Thanks for watching.